But I did see two movies this week. Elvis was first. Oh yeah. I'll start with the good. Everyone agrees with you, by the way. I know mm. your I know your take, and I everyone I've talked to agrees. I'll start with the good. Austin Butler was great. So talented. I think this is the start of a really incredible career for him. Congratulations, Austin. Congratulations. Congratulations. Austin, I really can't say enough good things about your performance. Congratulations. Congratulations. Way too long. Two hours and 59 minutes too long. Combined with the trailers and the movie, I was in there for four hours. And I would say at about an hour and a half into the movie, I completely disassociated and checked out. I just felt like the thing with the Batman is like there's action happening. And so it's like, okay, I can justify sitting in my seat because that's keeping me kind of on my toes. Elvis was pretty, it was pretty slow. Like it wasn't very plot heavy. It was very much just like a slow burn of his life. Is it like a documentary? No. Well, oh, here's the thing that I, I didn't love about Elvis. It's the narrative is structured around Tom Hanks's character, who's his manager, who basically took advantage of him his whole life and career. What's cool about this so, is there's not going to be any... Uh, uh, um, what the hell is going on with my brain today? No worry. Make it flow. Uh, there's not going to be any spoiler alerts because it's a true story. Right. right? So. right. But the narrative is structured around Tom Hanks's character, and he, like, he sucked, and no one wanted to even look at him. So it's like... Don't tell me the story. I don't want you in it. So that kind of sucked. That it oh, was, that's a bummer. Yeah, that it was structured around him because I just wanted. Does Elvis die? Elvis. At the end? Um, yeah. I mean, it's like more so like. Spoiler work. alert! There's not going to be any spoiler alerts because it's a true story. What if it Austin was, Butler was so in character that he actually gave his life? He went to the hospital after filming Elvis because out of exhaustion. Yeah, he lost touch of who he actually is. Is ended up in the hospital after filming Wrapped. That is. That making sense in terms of just how he's completely taken okay. on the persona of Elvis. You but, are not Heath Ledger. Wait. Who? Who was? Uh, who was the Joker? Heath Ledger. Yeah. No, Heath Ledger like couldn't get out of the Joker. Uh huh. Because, but the Joker's a psychopath. Right. You're a blues singer. There's a difference between something objectively being a good movie. And not really enjoying watching it. It was objectively a good movie, but I, it was way too long. So they could have cut it in half. They and could it have cut been, it like, in half. Good. And the other thing is, like, I te- I love like music biopics, like Bohemian Rhapsody, one of my favorite movies. Yeah, loved Rocket Man. This Rocket Man like was there was so not good. one like full performance of any of Elvis's songs. They were all like cut short and not really like it didn't focus on the music, which I kind of I, I like. He's I wanted to hear more of the songs at the end of the day too too long and i would not see it there again. was a lot of music in it though like the soundtrack wasn't it like really yeah but like everything was cu- like you know that song the dojo one's like ah, Vegas. It. love that one it was in it for 0.5 seconds i won't go see it i, I also it. saw marcel the shell and i saw marcel the shell last night go ahead you guys turn off this podcast and go see marcel the shell don't waste right now don't it, waste any time with don't, it don't waste any more time the best movie ever created I would see that 18,000 more times. I don't know why people are talking about Elvis and not talking about Marcel the Shell with shoes on. Excuse me. She, he is wearing shoes. Marcel the Shell with shoes on needs all, every, every, every every praise that Mar, Mar, any Marvel movies. Marcel the, the Shell had elements of a multiverse. Is that Nathan Fielder? Uh, there was nothing wrong with this movie. Nothing wrong. I do have some major plot holes. There was nothing wrong with this movie. Nothing wrong. This man, Dean, mm-hmm. he's he split up with his girlfriend. Yeah. And he gets a four-bedroom minimum Airbnb in Los Angeles, and he's a an amateur filmmaker. That wasn't four-bedroom. That was a gigantic property. Have you ever... You see how expensive Airbnbs are in LA? Yeah. That's an insane thing. So I just want to know... Maybe okay. a little backstory on Dean, the director, on what his parents, what what venture capitalist firm his parents own, for him to be an amateur film director renting a bachelor pad Airbnb for months mm-hmm. to film this documentary. Are confirmed there were four bedrooms. It's huge, like that minimum. It's two stories. Right. It took seven years to make this movie, by the way. Yeah, 
I, I can't believe they did it in just seven years. A masterpiece like that, I can't believe they got it in less than a This is so, Nicole Kidman, when she made that intro at AMC Theaters, this is the movie she was talking about. It is so deep. And I want, if anybody sees a movie and can break down some some pieces for me, I have so many questions about like things that definitely have deeper meaning. I, I could maybe answer them, but I can sp- I would like to speak a little bit to the depth of animated or claymation or whatever. I think it's much easier to connect with an inanimate object than it is an actor. I've because, always said that. Yeah, because you're not taking on the experience of an actual actor that you might not be able to relate to. You can project anything and any feelings that you might have onto an inanimate object or a cartoon or whatever. And that's exactly what I felt like I could do with Marcel. I am a little confused. And that was my biggest plot hole is like, I do understand the shells. Mm -hmm. I think he's technically a mollusk. Okay, but he had a googly eye. Right. And had shoes. Right. But uh, then there's a spool of thread, mm-hmm. and there's three tarantulas during the movie yeah. that play no role, but are at the end are just fully involved with them. And I'm like, why didn't you talk to them the whole time? I wish I could say more specifically why it was so good, but just every I have single, all I have all every my favorite single quotes. thing was just so. Oh wow, that is what a special breathtaking image. image. See, wow. you see it, and it's stop motion. Can you explain like what they do? Is they set up that scene, take a picture, and then do that a thousand times, and then put it all together? A thousand or a Seven billion years, billions? Bro. That's just, I I mean, if this doesn't win an Oscar, that I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this a Marcel the Shell sweater. It Did you get words. your Marcel the sticker shell sticker yeah, that I oh, gave shoot, you? Yeah. I got this Marcel Brooke the Shell up. sticker at the movie theater. Brooke is one of the probably three people on the planet that bought merch at the AMC movie theater. I didn't buy it. They gave it to me. Oh, they said, cool. "Do I want? Do you want this?" And I said, "Do you have 10? I'm noticing there's two stickers missing on yes. this sheet. Yes. Where are they? I gave one to Ashley. Oh. And I have one on my computer. And I'm gonna put the other one on my phone. I need, Which one do you want? I want this. Okay, little, take I don't that really one. have anything. That I can yeah. put This huge one. Okay. On. Well, thank you. Yeah, you you're welcome. Um, I got you another present too, though. Oh, this is. Oh, that's the banana bread, and I don't know if it's stale yet. F and go. Could you open that now, though? Because sharing is caring. Yeah, I want to get a good flavor. That's the peanut butter oh, cup one. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, this one is so good. Uh, this is Allie's banana bread, by the way. Cannot. I'm not even like a banana. I'm not even a banana brand stan. Banana no. bread stan. I can't really. I'm like. The two things I'm devoting my life to are Allie's banana bread and Marcel the Shell. But anyway. Can't stress this enough. If you haven't already closed this podcast and bought tickets to see Marcel the Shell, that's what you need to do right now. 